right, this is a section on significant figures and why it's important to know about significant figures um, in science. So what are sig figs or significant figures? These are figures that are um, knowns and estimates and measurements. So when you're doing an experiment, you want to make sure you have all the sig figs as possible because when it comes to calculations, you want to make sure you're as accurate as possible. That's why measuring is so important because you want to make sure you have all the sig figs as possible so you can get accurate results. Sometimes you have unsignificant figures or not significant and they are always zeros. That doesn't mean zeros are always unsignificant. It just means that all significant figures are going to be zeros. Okay, so for example, if you have 5,600,000 liters, that's only two sig figs because of the zeros after the six. So significant figure in measurement. So when is uh, a figure significant? So any non-zero is significant. So that means a real number, um, one through nine, um, those are all significant figures. A zero between numbers are significant. That's because the measurement continues going on. So 209 kilometers is three sig figs. Even though you have a zero there, it's a place, it's it's still significant. So that's like I said earlier, all non-significant figures are zeros, but not all zeros are not significant. Last digit after a decimal is always going to be significant. So the zeros after a decimal are always going to be significant, but you have to get to a real number first. So all these examples, 9.230 is four sig figs because the zero is after a real number. And in scientific notation, zeros, again, after you get to a real number, um, after the decimal, are counted as significant. Times 10 to whatever power has nothing to do with significant figures. So 6.00 times 10 to the 9 meters is 3 sig figs. And 4.0 times 10 to the negative 4 milliliters is 2 sig figs. So what's not significant? So... You can't get to a significant figure unless you get a significant figure first. So if you have 0 0.0002 centimeters, your first real number is two. So you can't count those number, those zeros in front of the two as significant. Even though they're after the decimal, you have to get to a real number first. And 1,000 kilometers is just one sig fig because those zeros do not have a decimal. So again, they're just placeholders. Okay, zeros draw a, a point of a decimal point. So that 0 0.12 milliliters is only two sig figs. So that zero obviously does not count. I like to put zeros in front of the decimal because the decimal point sometimes can get lost. All right, so how do we identify the number of sig figs? Um, so this is all just practice. So all digits other than zero are always significant. So 25 grams is two sig figs, 356.4 is four, 47,689 is five, and then 972 is three. How many sig figs is the following measurements? If you said six, you're correct. Zeros in between sig figs are significant. So 409 is three, 3,002 is 5, 2.010002 is 7, and 10.04 is 4. If you have 902, if you said A, 3 is correct. And then zeros after a decimal, after you reach a real number, count. So 2.0 is 2, 29.300, 5, 1.0000, 0 sorry, 1.050, 4, 456.0 is 4. How many sig figs is 49.90? If you said B, 4, you're correct. 
All right, zeros in time to notation are significant. So 2.0 times 10 to the 2. Remember that times 10 to whatever power does not mean anything. So 2 sig figs, 3 sig figs, 1.00, 3, 8.000, 4. And for 6.010 times 10 to the 9, again, 10, 10 times 10 to the 9 doesn't mean anything. So if you select A, you're right. Zeros used as placeholders are not significant. So 210 without the decimal is only two sig figs. 0 0.0002 is only one sig fig. Here's a little tricky, 0 0.030. Now the first real number you get to is three, and there's a zero after that, so it's going to be two sig figs. And one million dollars is only one. How many sig figs in the following measurement? 100, 100 million kilometers. Think about it. There's no decimal. If you said A, you are correct. One. All right, so we have 103 meters. Three. 100 grams without the decimal. One. Rule number five. 6.02 times 10 to the 23 atoms. Again, 10 times 10 to the 23 does not matter, so it should be three sig figs. Rule number four, 36.50. So you reach, after a decimal, you reach a real number, so there's four sig figs. Rule number three, and 173.673, no zeros, everything's significant, so you get six. There's rule one. All right, 412, three sig figs, 10,000, one, 1. 1.0010000 microbes. You said four, you were right. 5.003, 90,020 ants, tricky, four. Okay, there's no decimal there, so 9002 are significant, but the zero after is not. 3.20, 3, number 7, 5, 0 0.00540, if you said 3, you are right. 90 glasses is 1, 231 is 3, and 19,034 calendars is 5. All right, so how can we make a zero significant? A couple ways, actually three ways. One is to place a line over the significant zero or zeros. In this case, we put two lines over zero, zero, so it shows it's significant. Not my favorite thing to do. Number two, display the significant answer in scientific notation. 2.00 times 10 to the two is 200 coins. I like that method. Or you place a decimal after the zero, which is also a good method, Two point or 200 point. So that decimal makes the zero significant. So I like two and three. I'm not a big fan of number one. All right, so here's a tricky part with the zeros. Number one, there's no decimal, so one sig fig. But if you put that decimal there, it changes to four. 6.0. Two sig figs, 5,000 without the decimal is only one. 70,010, no decimal, four sig figs. Again, the zeros in between are significant. Add a decimal, it changes to five sig figs. 560 with the line and above, so that's three. No line is only two. 0 0.000045 pens. Zeros in front of the four and five don't count, so it's only two sig figs. But if we add a zero after the five, it changes to three sig figs. All right, adding and subtracting. When you're adding and subtracting your calculations, you always round to the same precision as your least precise measurement. 
So basically, you're looking at the number of decimal places, the least number of decimal places. So for example, 2.3 has one decimal spot, 1.2356 has four decimal spots, so your answer can only have one decimal spot. So the answer would be 3.5. We keep it at 5 because the 3 right after the 5 is less than 5, so it doesn't round. So that's the tenths, that's the ten thousandths, so you can only answer to the tenth spot. Multiplying and dividing, this deals with the number of sig figs. You have to know the, the number of sig figs in each um, number, and your answer is only going to have the least number of sig figs. So we have 5.7 has two sig figs, 456.345 has six sig figs, so your answer can only go to two sig figs. So the answer is only 2600 centimeters squared. Two sig figs, six sig figs, unrounded answer. Your answer can only go to two sig figs rounded, and you keep it at 2600. So how do we do sig figs rounding? So if that goes to one decimal plus, it would just stay at 10.9. For number two, it would round up to 15.7, because the seven is larger than five. 14.35 would go to 14.4. 3.21 would stay at 3.2. 8.67, 8.7, and 7.33 just stays at 7.3. All right, so here's some practice runs. Again, for adding and subtracting, you can only go to the least precise. So one decimal is your answer. So you answer to one decimal spot. So you do your rounding. You look at the one decimal place, which is the six. You look to the right, it's a zero. So your answer can only be 84.6. Same thing with subtraction, we got Eight, six decimal spots, we have four decimal places, so your answer can only go to four decimal places. So you do your subtraction, you have this big old number after the decimal, you go to the fourth spot, which is the three, 53.5603, it's four decimal places. You look to the right, it's a five, so that three is going to change to a four because they're rounding. All right, three de or, sorry, two decimal places, five decimal places, so your answer can only go to two decimal places, so make sure you put two there. Do your math. You look at the second decimal place, which is a one value. You look to the right, it's a nine, so that's going to change the one to a two, so it's 15.72. So how does adding and subtracting work with scientific notation? So 5.6 times 10 to the eighth is a very big number. It's 560 million. And then basically you're adding um, three, which is the ones place. So basically it's like adding a drop of water to a bucket. It's not gonna do anything. If you have something like $560 million and you add $3 to that, it's insignificant. So let's think about that as a moment. But basically the least precise value is 10 millionths place. Um, so you go around to the 10 millionths place, so you've looked at that, you have 560 million, three joules. So that three basically is insignificant. So that's why significant figures is so, so important, because if we didn't do sig figs, that number changes to nine significant figures. And the answer is only going to be two sig figs when we do the addition. So your answer can only be 560 million joules or 5.6 times 10 to the 8 joules. So that's why sig figs work and important in science because um, something like a drop in the bucket has no bearing in any work. All right, multiplying and dividing. Remember, you're going to um, figure out the least number of sig figs and that will be your answer. So for number one, you have three sig figs. Number two, 
number is two sig figs, so your answer can only have two sig figs. Number two, you have four sig figs and three sig figs, so your can, answer can only be in three sig figs. We have three sig figs and two sig figs, so you can answer only be in two sig figs. We have two sig figs and one sig fig, so the answer can only be in one sig fig. 16.000 is 5, 3.021 is 4, so your answer can only be 4 sig figs. So remember, you're looking at the number of sig figs, and you round where you need to for the least number of sig figs. So 6.0 4 times 4.6, we have 2 sig figs and 3 sig figs, so your answer can only be in 2 sig figs. So we do our math, 47.35, the answer is only two sig figs, so that's where the seven is. And you round to 27 because the three next to it is lower than five. Here's the division, we have 45.678, that's five sig figs, and 5.00 is three sig figs. So notice why that zero zero is important, because if you didn't put that zero zero, it's only one sig fig. Do, so that means the answer can only be in three sig figs. Do the math on your calculator, 9.1356. So the third number is three, and you're gonna round that to four because of the five next to it. Okay, 6.02 is three, 5.1 is two. The answer can only be in two. So we do the math, 30.702, that zero, after the three is where you're gonna look at. You look to the right, seven, so that's gonna to change to a 31 centimeter squared. Then the division problem, three sig figs for the top number divided by two sig figs, so your answer can only be in two sig figs. And when we do the math, it's 2.01667. So you look at that zero, the number next to it is a one, so it's gonna stay at zero, 2.0. So things to remember, zeros are placeholders that are not significant. Addition and subtraction, you always go to the least precise, so the least number of decimals. Number three, multiplication and division, you always go to the least number of sig figs. And you only round at the end of your calculations. Do not round in the middle. All right, that is the end of sig figs. We're going to work on significant or more significant figures in class. Let me know if you have any questions, and uh, we'll work them out.